Skin of Glass um, is, is a memoir about uh, dance as a spiritual path. That's sort of the, the quick tagline. And I came to writing it because um, I, <laughs> I actually had a BFA from Juilliard and then I wanted to get a master's because at a certain point in my career I needed to, I just felt I needed a, a higher degree. Um, I went to Columbia Teachers College um, and I just was like, no, oh, this is definitely not what I need to be doing. It was all about writing good syllabuses and I'd already been teaching in university for a long time. And I'm like, oh, no, no. So I went to to do a self, uh, what do you, a self-design degree, I guess, through Leslie University. And um, the very, the very, it's a wonderful thing. You meet twice a semester or something, once a semester with, you know, like three incredible PhD. That's what I did people. And my team was an amazing thing. And the first period semester was just trying to figure out what it was I was going to be doing my master's on. And very soon it became apparent to me that though I wanted to look into various topics, I didn't want to become a specialist in any of them. And I finally, by the end of the first year, by gathering all my notes and by doing a lot of reading, I read a lot of memoir, a lot, a lot, and writing a research paper on memoir, I realized that, of course, that I want to do a writing degree and write memoir, um, and that there wasn't a memoir of this type. I, I couldn't find one. There are many uh, dance memoirs. There are many spiritual memoirs. and um, But the dance memoirs were more about, or dancers, they were more about sort of just the outside of their existence of I went here and did this, that kind of thing. Um, and I realized what I wanted to write was what it felt like to be inside your body as a path. And um, so that required me finding a kind of language that isn't all that apparent, you know, how to, and I ended up using um, poets and uh travel, people that had written books about traveling, and my main language model was Gretel Ehrlich, who wrote a piece called This Cold Heaven about traveling in the Arctic. And I said, well, I want to write my memoir as a journey inside my body, as if my body is a landscape, and I'm experiencing it. So the first part of the memoir is pretty much what we've, a lot of what we've been talking about is just, you know, young dancer, and then, you know, Sufi student. So it's very straightforward, very easy to follow. Everybody loves the first part. <laughs> the second part is what I call the thriller. It's really me exploring sequentially different body parts, legs and crotch, spine, skin, ovaries. And how I came to that was that I was doing my, I would do my practice for every day for three or four months focusing on a body part. So I might do any number of things, but I will always spend 10 or 15 minutes each day fo focusing on legs and crotch, for instance. And I did that for three months and I would journal. And uh, anyway, the process of that turned out to be this tremendous narrative arc of all these discoveries that I made about um, many things, <laughs> many things. And uh, in my deeper history, and you have to read the book to find out what those are. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and it kind of wove in the fact that, you know, the whole memoir starts the day before 9-11, um, really in a way. And I got, I split with my husband the day before 9-11, then 9-11, and then I was getting divorced, and then I was dating somebody, and I was, you know, also in perimenopause, and this is, I'm doing my practice, I'm uncovering my past, and I'm weaving in what it is to be in my body at this time and what having an embodied practice, how that, you know, how that becomes the containment for exploring these subjects, you know, what it feels like, you know, to be, to be, you know, in my body, in, men, in perimenopause, for instance, or, you know, these things. So, that's the middle part of the book, and it's unusual, and it was hard to find language for it, but I really felt happy with it <laughs> when I had finished it. I felt like we need this. We need to be writing and reading this kind of thing, you know. And then the end part is just a little denouement of, you know, just little anecdotes of being a teacher, being a performer, you know, that kind of 
draw on perceptions that I had unfolded in the book. So that's what the memoir is. It's a slightly unusual memoir, but um, in a way, it's, it's in, in its own way, kind of a primer to the practice as well, because it's sort of what can happen, at least it happened to me, from doing this kind of process. Um, it's just that I happen to bring out my narrative arc, um, but anybody could do the same thing, you know. So um, that's, that's what Skin of Glass 